let's graph the parabola y equals negative a quarter x squared. I'd like it if you knew what y equals regular x squared looked like on its own. You have points at negative 2 comma positive 4, negative 1 comma 1, 0 comma 0, 1 comma 1, and 2 comma 4. Now I've memorized those points personally, but if you haven't, we're just using whole numbers on either side of zero. And when you square the number on the x-axis, here it's negative two, you get the number on the y-axis, which is four. Negative one squared is one, zero squared is zero, one squared is one, two squared is four. Now I'm also gonna write that here on a uh, table of values, but it's literally the points I just called out to you written horizontally, negative two comma four, negative one comma one, zero comma zero, one comma one, and two comma four. Now, what are the effects of this? Well, most teachers will deal with the one quarter and the negative separately. The one quarter is a vertical compression by a factor of one quarter. That makes the entire parabola only a quarter as tall as it had been. There we go, now you can see it. The negative, on the other hand, is a vertical reflection. That means the parabola will appear upside down. Some teachers want you to write vertical reflection on the x-axis. That means the x-axis is the mirror and what at one point pointed upward now points downward. Well, what's the effect of those on the parabola itself? Well, in order to apply the vertical compression or the, uh, the shrinking vertically, we're going to multiply each of these y values by a quarter. Again, it's going to be a quarter as tall as it was, and y is the up-down direction. A quarter of four is just one. A quarter of one is just a quarter. A quarter of zero is still zero. A quarter of one is still a quarter, and a quarter of four is one. So what we've done now is applied the vertical compression. We've smallerized all of the y's. The vertical reflection, on the other hand, is about multiplying all of those values by an extra negative one. So what was at positive one on the y-axis is now negative one. From a quarter to negative a quarter, flipping the sign on zero doesn't actually affect it. A quarter becomes negative a quarter, and one becomes negative one. So these here, negative two comma negative one, negative one comma negative a quarter, et cetera, are the points on the final graph or the graph of y equals negative a quarter x squared. Now I'm gonna plot them here on this curve so you can see how this has been smallerized and flipped. I think I'm gonna need some room down below it though. There's negative one, there's negative two on the y-axis. Negative two comma negative one is here. Please note that what was at one point four units above the x-axis, that point there, is now a single unit below. The fact that four became one is the effect of the quarter, and the fact that above turned to below is the effect of the negative. That's why teachers break those two things apart sometimes. We have a point at negative one, negative a quarter, here, zero comma zero. Oh, that one didn't actually change, did it? One comma negative a quarter and two comma negative one. So what I've put in purple here is the transformed version. The vertex is in the same place here at zero, zero. But the parabola looks flatter. In fact, uh, it's probably a quarter as tall as it was before. Huh? And it's opening down instead of opening up. That's the effect of the negative. Now, you probably don't have to show it by both graph and table of values, and you may not even have to show the compression and reflection separate from each other, but I opted to because I'm here to teach you, and I hope you learned something. Bam! Best of luck.